guys, it's Alicia. Now today I'm gonna to be making one of my absolute favorite cakes. This strawberry cake is probably one of the best strawberry cakes I have ever had. And the best part about it is it is so easy to make and just has a few ingredients because it starts with a cake mix. This recipe comes from my mom. She actually made this for me for all my birthdays growing up. Um, I'll have to insert a picture of what it looked like because this is a 70s recipe. And I, in turn, then made it for my daughter, I think every single year until she was about 13. Um, now today I'm going to be making it into a heart shape instead of a bunny shape. And I'm gonna be doing that with just using two regular pans instead of a heart pan. So what you're gonna to need to make this is, first off, a white cake mix. Then you're gonna need a cup of sliced strawberries. I just used frozen. Then you're gonna need one box of strawberry jello, a half cup of vegetable oil, half cup of cold water, and four eggs. To make the frosting for this cake, what you're gonna need is a pound of powdered sugar, a stick of butter, and some strawberry juice from your strawberries. I've got some extra juice in the container. Okay, first thing you wanna do is preheat your oven to 350, and then you're gonna take your cake mix, strawberry jello, water, and oil, and then you're just going to mix this well. Okay, now that we've got that mixed well, we're going to add our eggs one at a time and continue to mix. Okay, now we're going to add our strawberries. Okay, and I just mixed that until it all got incorporated together. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm going to pour it into my prepared pans. And what I've got for pans is a nine by nine square and a nine inch diameter circle. And I sprayed the bottom of each of these, put a piece of parchment paper in and then sprayed that also because I don't want this to stick. So now the trickiest part for me is to try to get this batter into these pans, you know, fairly, evenly. We want to end up with the same height on both of these so that they match up when I make the heart. So just eyeballing this, it looks like they're fairly um, they're fairly similar in the depth. So I'm going to call it good and hope that that works. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in my preheated oven and I'm going to bake them for starting at around probably 30 minutes just want to bake them until you can insert a to toothpick in the middle and it comes out clean. Okay, and while my cake is baking, I'm going to go ahead and do my frosting real quick. And all that is, is just a stick of softened butter and a pound of powdered sugar. And then lastly, I'm just going to start with a little bit of strawberry juice. And then I'm going to just blend this up. And that is what it looks like right now. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit more strawberry juice. Basically, you just wanna add however much strawberry juice it takes to get to the consistency that you want your frosting to be at. I would say in total so far, this will probably be about a third cup that I've added. Okay, and that is what the frosting looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and just set this aside until I'm ready to frost my cake. Okay, I cooked these just, just about 30 minutes and they are done. So now I'm gonna just let them cool for a little bit before I try taking them out of the pans. I let these cool for about 10 minutes and then I flopped them out of the pans. And this one's a little bit rounded so I'm gonna try to shave it down a little bit so that it's gonna be flatter on top. Peel that off and now that should be easier to work with. And then I'm gonna just cut this one right in half. Okay. 
Okay, and now that I've cut the round in half, I just place the two sides of it on the sides of the square. And there is our heart shape. So I'm gonna let this cool just a little bit longer and then I will frost it. Okay, this has been cooling for a long time, so I'm gonna go ahead and frost it now. and there it is, all frosted. Um, I was gonna put some strawberries, fresh strawberries on the top of this, but it's got strawberry flecks in the frosting because I ended up with a few strawberries in the frosting as well as just the juice. So I'm gonna just leave it like this. I think it's pretty cute. Like I said, this is probably one of my favorite strawberry cake recipes. It's incredibly moist, it's, just, it's got a ton of flavor, and it's just so easy to make. And doing it in the heart shape like this is also really, really easy. Uh, it just takes the two different pans. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.